Hey guys, are you ready to meet our visiting presenter? Yes, she is amazing. Marcy Smothers says she's just an ordinary person with extraordinary curiosity. Yet that simple truth has turned her into a noted personality in the Northern California world of food and wine. In 2004, she enjoyed her first time on radio with Sonoma County's News Talk Station. By 2006, she was a frequent guest host on Bay Area radio stations. So all the recipes are either from Walt's home, from the studio, or from Disneyland, authentic. And so yes, there's gonna be MSG in some of them. There is gonna be a lot of canned goods, but that was what the era was all about. So who came to Marcy's demo last year where she cooked Walt's, baked Walt's favorite cookie? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. People. Oh, well, if we get back to that, we could tell that story because yes. that was a completely unknown recipe before yeah. uh, I, well, not completely, vastly. Marcy knew it, but no one else. <laughs> no, other people knew it, but not many. Yeah. And you couldn't Google it, but we'll get back. So, Tahitian Terrace ribs. So we're gonna start over here with the ribs. How many people know what the silver skin is on ribs? Not many. How many people like to eat them? Okay, so this one of the secrets to really great ribs is there's this thin membrane yeah. here, which you can see, I'm not gonna... Move it right here. Thank you. Oh, oh Mr. Cameraman. Yeah. So it's hard, and I've got good manicure, so I'm not going to really work at it. But you could see this here. Yes. You could use a knife for your fingers. If you pull that off, that makes it a little bit tough because it's a membrane. Or you can ask your butcher to do it. And let's. I recommend you do. Okay. <laughs> and then you always put. At least I have my first book, Snacks, Adventures in Food, Isle by Isle, that's based on the show that I did with Guy Fieri, is that you put any, when you put meat directly on a sheet pan or the weight of the meat pushes, pushes out, presses out some of the juices. So use a rack. It really makes your meat taste better. And if you don't have a rack, make a vegetable rack, which is really cool. Make carrots or onions or lemons or whatever you want, but always try to set your meat on top of something not directly on a cookie sheet, sheet pan, or hotel pan. No, set Anyhow, I just got finished with that culinary demonstration, although it was more like stories and stuff from the author's book, but an no, interesting one <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more cooking, but hey, it, it's fine. It was still interesting. Uh, winning on Ivan and Antonio. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but they took a thing an Uber down here because I don't know why. <laughs> I'll ask them when they come. By the way, they should be coming pretty soon. We'll see if we can buy them. Trust, trust on Antonio, trust yeah, on Ivan. Dude, the guy left us like three blocks away from the park. We should have gone like a uh, harbor over there. That's what I was saying. We were at, we were, he's like, oh, it says we're pretty close. You guys think you can figure it out? Trust, worst we wanna, dude ever. We the whole thing. Trust. I'm tired. Wasted time for grindage for you? Grindage? Grindage. Okay, well, let's, let's go get some grindage then. So what's the uh, what type of beer? It's the uh, brewery almond game. Almond game. Okay. Well, how about you uh, give it a little taste? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it scrumptious? <laughs> what would you kind of compare it to? Tasting notes. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to like a whole garden. Or like okay, so not not like one of those watery like Bud Lights or anything. No, okay, no, definitely, definitely a, like thicker. Okay, a good a good beer then. Good beer. Yeah. Nice. The color's a little. Hope <laughs> time for the pretzel. And this was some sort of mustard with it, right? Uh, beer mustard. Beer mustard. Okay. I'm a little hesitant to try it. Just try it. Well, okay, try it without. Yeah, you gotta try it without. You gotta have the control. Curious disembodied hand enters the frame. Yeah. <laughs> Antonio. Pretty good. 
Okay, so you just had the mustard. I haven't just had the pretzel. Now, you combine. Do the no, not that. Okay, well, you got the rest uh. of the pretzel. And Tony, you can just have the mustard. <laughs> and I will just have the pretzel. Small piece. Gross. Are you I'm fine, but thank you. I'll, I'll have some of Zach. I need, I need to get Antonio's reaction. Hmm. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> so, so you liked it separately, but not together. I don't know how much he dipped. Did he? Oh, is it hot? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. you just yeah, like maybe that was a problem. You needed just a tiny bit. Yeah, he, he just yeah. got like a fingertip full the first time, I think. Like okay. a bitter taste. What's that shit? Um, the green stuff from Sushi? Wasabi. Wasabi, there it is. It like well, wasabi. I'm not going to try the mustard. He's going to try it. <laughs> I was going to say, you're a mustard fan now? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, like I probably went a little heavy, heavy with the horseradish. <laughs> you're a mustard. A little goes a long way. Yeah, like, wait, wait, I remember what happened. <laughs> Wow. It does actually. Yeah. A little goes a long way. No, like, seems, like good wasabi. It seems like the band's gonna start pretty soon. They do a bunch of cool cover songs. We saw them earlier. <laughs> Ready to go into the sea? Yay, under the sea. Are you gonna sing? Under the sea. Under the sea. I was born, I was My story is not near as interesting as Ariel's. I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Yes. Sitting there across the room. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Spicy sea dog cheddar, jalapeno sausage topped with chipotle cream, queso fresco, and pico de gallo. Take a look at that. Nice. Mm, I think I even just got the all beef uh, hot dog. Plain. Uh, yeah. He's gonna just probably do some double ketchups on there. Yeah. Did, you, did you get a drink? No, I have my drinks. Okay. So I, I saw him have like a bunch of milks there. I'm like, oh man, Antonio's getting the milk. Yeah. Vitamin D. <laughs> well, you know, it's spicy, so you need milk. Yeah, well, it would have been good. Can you add a spice? Oh, <laughs> oh, here comes the five in time. I love in park entertainment. I was debating getting caffeine here, but I never see anyone order anything like hot chocolate or hot cheese. So. 
I see a lot of ketchup thrive, man. Here we go, here we go. I need a straw. <laughs> you need a straw. I said, I said don't get oh, please. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you said you needed to stretch before you could double ketchup. Oh, a single ketchup for Antonio. Uh, Single ketchup? Yeah, you should see I have a double ketchup. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I can get Ivan to do a triple ketchup when he comes back. I will have to wait and see. It'll be a challenge. But while we're waiting for that, you should uh, taste your food. Okay. Antonio's going to try his food. Oh, you took a pretty good bite. How is it? Spicy? Is it really spicy? Well, it's called Spicy City, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have your challenge, by the way, is triple uh, ketchup this time. Triple? Can you triple ketchup? I could do triple ketchup with, uh, no, double ketchup with a mustard. Well, you got mustard? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. Got the streakage. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah, look at that. Are you proud of what you did? No. <laughs> <laughs> the shame. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but the fries are pretty good. Pretty basic. Anyway, enjoy your food. <laughs> it looked like the water was going to splash back up. Oh no! Anyway, you enjoyed our trip around the world? Yeah, it was fun. I, mean, it's fun. I like it actually being in the center because if you're like off to the side, it's it kind of skewed. It looks off. <laughs> so rather than the Eiffel Tower being kind of straight up, it looks like... It's bad. Yeah. It looks more realistic. They need to clean the screen though. There's a yeah. spot there. You well, saw it too, huh? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of spots. There's some other screens that need cleaning too. So, anyway, we're gonna go off to Disneyland and head to Adventureland slash New Orleans Square and decide from there. A few different choices so. yeah, we, were, we were walking to Adventureland and Ivan and Antonio made a detour into the pin shop. <laughs> See what they got. What I pin can... did you get, Antonio? Can... Oh dear, where did you get in trouble? Okay. Lots of it? That's cute, right? Yeah. 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 Was it waiting between this one or the woody one? Oh, I didn't even see the woody one. That's what that press for. Uh, this one's only got more apparently, so. So where are you gonna put it? I'll see right now. Let me change the way first. Put it down here. Yeah, Below uh, it yeah. Darth Mickey? Is that Darth Mickey? <gasps> it's Darth Mickey? Yeah. What's yeah. the world come to? Sword. Let's we'll see what Ivan got after. No, he got Hi, three actually. I'll try. Oh, so no. let's get off to the side here. Ivan, let's see what pins you got. I got Snow White with Dopey <laughs> dancing scene. <laughs> and I got Jessica Rabbit limited edition. Antonio said you got three. I was gonna get three, but then I started hesitating. Hmm, there are some cool ones over there. I know I can't go looking at it anymore. <laughs> yeah, another time to see. <laughs> He got a big cup. Of that looks really cool. That's not the one he got. I know he got the lobster. Yeah, because I know you're looking for what was it, haunted mansion stuff, Ivan? Huh? There was some haunted mansion. I know stuff. that I can't go look. I saw there's, a lot of okay, there's some good stuff. Another time. Another time. Anyway, continue to adventure, man. After a little detour here.